I've been trying to get my life in order. But when your drawers look like this, it's pretty bloody hard. So my buddy Harry from Fire to Fork got me onto this Red Roads gear made by a bloke named Aaron. Top bloke, awesome product. And when I saw how Aaron had used his uh, canvas padded stuff cells to organize his drawers, I thought, yep, let's pitch an idea to him about a video for organizing your drawers. So today we're gonna pull everything out of the drawers, have a look what we've got, reorganize it, and see where we can use some of these canvas padded stuff cells. So recently I've just put these drawers in my GQ. Um, while we're at it, checking out Alex's drawers, we're gonna go through what I've got in mine, and we're gonna see how each of us uses these Red Roads padded cells. That there is the large canvas padded stuff cell. It's the only canvas storage product I've seen that has a padded lining in it. Now that's obviously pretty good for protecting the contents, whatever you choose to put in there, but it's also what helps it maintain its shape. Zip it up, there you go. It's like a box made of canvas. This thing oozes quality all over, which is nothing like the pencil case I made in year eight. That was a rookie effort. So it's rugged Australian canvas on the outside, but it's got this nice soft internal lining, protect your goods, makes it a bit neater too, because just between there is where your padding is sandwiched. And then where your seam would normally be, you know, that ugly frayed thing with all the threads that hang out. Well, that's got its own little binding stitched over the top of it. So when you close it up and try to do the zipper, you don't get all those stray threads caught in it and make it a proper pain in the ass. Close it up, you've got the little red roads label there, nice little leather accents, little leather toggles on the zippers, and the zipper itself, that's sewed in in reverse. So it's a nice seamless zipper instead of teeth hanging out of the sides. Yeah, there's a whole lot of fancy sewing techniques that have been used on these things. The sort of techniques that have just have me throwing the sewing machine straight in the too hard basket. That's beyond me, but what's not beyond me is my ability to appreciate quality. <laughs> so here's what Red Roads have supplied us for, for the video. We've got the small canvas padded stuff cell. That's the large stuff cell, the extra large, and the canvas tripod bag. So that was actually designed to hold the Red Roads tripod, but apparently customers were finding them so damn easy and convenient to store everything else that they sell that separately as well. The pretty cool thing about these is um, when they were invented, they're designed around the dimensions of a pretty standard set of four wheel drive drawers. So if you lay them out the right way in your drawers, you can use up every little piece of space. I tell you what, it's like a Victorian summer over here at the moment, like it was pouring rain before and we had to go and hide, now it's sunny. Who knows what it'll do? So we'll take these into the carport and we'll get started on this thing. Right, so what we have here is the contents of my drawers. Um, kind of segregated right down the middle here. Um, this side is mainly cooking, camp setup stuff, and stuff I don't really need that often, but is easy to get to. Starting this end, we have my little gas burner, which to me, I personally think that's an essential, essential part of kit. Um, this is the iFry. It's a homemade setup to put your pans, pots, and billies just over the fire. Just a homemade bit of kit. Um, shit tickets. Jaff line. Uh, my first aid kit, which hopefully you don't need to use that at all. Big knife. Random hessian sacks, just in case you need to put anything in a bag or good for rubbish bags or keeping all your tins away from the fire. Angriest spatula you'll ever find. 
Another essential item for me is a cast iron pan or skillet or whatever you want to call it. Um, baby wipes and a cutlery box. Just all the stuff you might need from your knives to your toaster and your tongs, which Alex needs to learn to have. Oh Jesus. Oh, I don't have tongs. And then my air compressor. Just a standard ARB single tank one with a that style gauge. All right, on this side, I've got a couple of towels that live in my drawers, just in case anyone needs one. In case you get moist. Yeah, in case I get pretty moist. Gloves, always handy to have gloves. A wheel brace. Emergency Sikaflex, you always need that. Strap. I think this is 1.2 tons. That's just your small one. Ratchet straps just to tie stuff down. Smaller ratchet straps or tie down straps, whatever you want to call them. There's a few of them. My Oztrail air deflator. It's almost like the ARB Easy deflator. Same product, different name. Uh, a good multimeter. This is one of my must haves. I mean, being an auto sparky, you'd think I'd have one, but just a good one, just in case you run into any electrical gremlins out on the tracks. Strap, snap strap, toe strap, whatever strap you want to call it. Um, this is just a little light bar that's going to be mounted on the vehicle. Shovel, nice fold out, compact, easy to use shovel. Let's see if I can refold it. There we go. Uh, puncture repair kit. I can't remember for the life of me where I got that, but wherever it was, they do a good product. Uh, drag chain, good for dragging stumps. Now, a fuel nozzle for your jerry cans. This comes in super handy and a lot of people who don't have the plastic ones with the nozzle and the handle, forget these. Little Anderson plug extension. So I've got one Anderson plug in the back there. Comes out to two, so I can put two things on there. And then this big ginormous knot of spaghetti wiring. It's a whole bunch of LED white strips. And that's all I have in my drawers at the moment. So Taylor's gonna reorganize his drawers. We'll go and have a look, see what's in mine, and I'll talk you through how I do mine. <laughs> On the passenger side, under the fridge, is what I call the kitchen drawer. This is everything kitchen. That's the wash tub. Inside the wash tub sits the canvas camp oven bag. Notice that's not padded, so that's just like, that's floppy. That's like a wizard sleeve, that is. But anyway, inside the wizard sleeve, you've got the camp oven there. A little toaster for the gas stove. The perfect little, this is actually called a prawn pot. Cast iron, it's like a camp oven makes a like a muffin sized damper. Uh, roll of bin liners for the wheelie bin that goes on the back of the car. This was just kicking around in there, a barbie scraper, single toasty maker. Two of these things you put mozzie coils in to smoke out the mozzies. Uh, cast iron frying pan, the lid for the pot that's over here, two plates, three bowls, a tea towel and a frisbee. I don't know why the frisbee's in there. Um, then we've obviously got the bottom part for the bowl, which I nest inside this mixing bowl here. Chopping board normally sits on the top. A propane canister because I can never be bothered dragging out a full bottle of um, gas off the roof and getting the three burner stove out. So propane fuel. This little single burner sits on top of there so you can just quickly boil up some water or 
do your two minute noodles. Uh, mozzie coils. This old takeaway container, it's got, that was sitting inside of it, some dishwashing detergent. An old tin from Emu's Rub. That's pretty good stuff actually. Look up Emu's Rub on Instagram. Dry rub for your meat. Tea towel, snap tap. I don't know why that's there. And then this little box here sort of keeps all these stray bits and pieces together. Two tin cups, two plastic cups, a plastic wine glass, plastic knives, plastic forks, plastic spoons, wooden spoon, pair of tongs. I've got a pair with me this time. Don't have to burn my fingers on the sausages. Little knife. A couple of dishcloths. And the good old Bushman spray. So if the mozzie coils don't smoke them out, this stuff will keep them away. And that's about the kitchen drawer. Okay, I was really surprised with what came out of the driver's side drawer. This is the one I traditionally use for tools and recovery and camping items. So starting here, we've got um, a five meter Ridge Rider LED uh, light strip. Um, that they sell as a thing to hang up under your Ridge Rider gazebos, but I hang it up from just about anything. Plastic bag with an old Vegemite jar um, full of laundry powder. Uh, another Emu's rub tin. This one I've used to uh, melt tree sap at some point, I think. A bit of rope, you always need that when you're camping. So many tent pegs, big sand pegs. Smaller sand pegs, sand pegs are my favorite. Uh, gentle persuader. More sand pegs. Hefty steel tent pegs. A hacksaw, used that to fix a boat trailer once. Uh, what's left of the standard Nissan tire replacing kit. It's just pretty much a wheel wrench, I think. Piece of the jack handle, belongs over there. Some cable ties. All right, my socket set, uh, carry a full size socket set. So uh, a quarter inch, three eighth and a half inch drive in metric and imperial. Every socket I should ever need. Ridge Rider tire repair kit. Uh, one of my favorite tire repair kits on the market. Some more string. Ah, uh, the rubber mallet. This is mostly for bashing in tent pegs. Doesn't snap and bend your tent pegs so easy. Snatch strap, got to have that. Found a little scrap of solder kicking around in there. The top off my high lift jack. Yeah, duct tape, good stuff. About three kilos of mosquito coils. An extension lead, that's to do with the inverter. Guy ropes off something. Uh, two camp oven lid lifters. The high lift jack wheel mate lift accessory. That's the best thing that you can put as an accessory with your high lift, I'll tell you that. Uh, three bow shackles. Uh, I think it's an SCA bottle jack. Ridge Rider drag chain. Uh, what's that thing? Equalizer strap. And right over the end there, two winch damper blankets. That was a pretty full drawer. So it was quite neatly, it was quite tightly packed in there. Let's try and bring them all together and organize them a bit better and sort them out into the Red Roads padded cells. Right, so we've done a bit of reorganizing with my drawer on the passenger side. We've taken a few things out that aren't essential and don't need to weave in the drawers. So light bar, for example, is gonna be mounted on the vehicle soon when I can be bothered. Um, but yeah, it's nice and neat in here now. Um, just got all your stuff that's going to need more likely up the front, like your straps, your air compressor and shovel, emergency seeker flex. That's all up the front and down the back, so tie down points, straps, and a second first aid kit that's just right up the back, so in an emergency I know where it is. On this side I've decided to use all the Red Roads padded cells. How good does that look? Rightio, first off we have this one. And that's just a nice consumables kit. So you've got your fuses, bit of WD-40, 
electrical tape, and all sorts of other bits and bobs. Next we have the medium one, I believe it is. And that's just full of my LED strip lights. Nice and compact. All the wiring harnesses are below in there. Keeps them out of the weather, out of sight, out of mind. And they're tangles. out of tangles. And they're easy to reach, which is one of the most important things when you're setting up camp. All right, we have this big boy here. Unzip that. And that's just a little toiletry bag that I've set up. You've got your shit tickets, toothbrush, deodorants, my super manly moisturizer, and toothpaste. <laughs> Definitely not for my hands. They're soft anyway. And of course, baby wipes in there because everyone needs baby wipes. All right, this nice long one I found is perfect use for my longer tools like your hammer, your pry bars, your tire pliers, and your big adjustable spanners that don't fit in any toolbox ever. All right. Last but not least, we've got this little baby one. Now, I can guarantee a lot of our viewers are going to like this one, because I certainly do. Open it up. And it's just a little compartment for your nightcaps. Perfect sizing for three flasks. There's one, two, three. And we've got a couple little extra things in there. But you can have three different types of bourbons, whiskies, or three different spirits, whatever you want. But the perfect size to keep them out, out of sight, out of hands of people that shouldn't be getting them, and nice and safe. All right, let's have a look what I did with my driver's side drawer. Pulled it all out, relayed it nicely. We've got the largest Red Roads pouch here. That's pretty much the go away insects bag. I've got my two mozzie coil burners full of the coils, big old can of Bushman spray, two fly nets which make you look a little bit special when you're out in the bush but they keep the bugs off your head. And the sun can be a bit of a pest sometimes, so a bottle of sunscreen in there. So the large pouch organized that nicely. Underneath that I've got my socket set. There I've got my strip light still in its little bag. The smallest of the Red Road cells. It's heavy because it's got this I don't know why high lift jack thing in there. Actually, you know what? That can go back out. We don't need that. It's got shackles in it. And then this one here, this just made sense. The big long tripod bag. I filled that with all the tent pegs. It's pretty good actually. It, um, it opens up nice and wide. It pretty much just splays right out and you can pick out the pegs you need. And zip it back up when you're done. Now my winch damper blankets, I moved them to the front of the drawer because I found them too hard to get to and then I was being tempted to misbehave and not use them. So those are under there. I've got my hammers chucked in alongside it. The snatch straps right in the middle, so quick and easy to get to. And then right down the back underneath everything is the tire repair kit. I've never had to use it yet. If I did have to use it, I wouldn't mind taking the time to have to pull things out of the drawer. And then I've got the drag chain back there and a few other bits. Altogether, there is a lot of stuff in that drawer, but it's reasonably accessible still. The kitchen drawer. This one can fit a fair bit more in it, actually. I think I need to go and add some stuff and fix up my cutlery a little bit. Uh, the camp oven stays where it is. The other one tucked up the back there. The main difference I've uh, made here is I've used that uh, square pouch to store a few odds and ends in. So in there I've moved my gas bottle and little stove into it. I've got the tea towel in there, the dishcloth, those little emu rub tins to use for something in the future, and a box of matches. So that's a few fiddly little things that used to just get jammed up and get in the way, all stuffed away inside the stuff cell. And then there's this one here. 
This one's not going to live in the drawers. I found a better use for this. Got my tyre gauges. So the low pressure gauge, which is the most accurate one I've got for testing your pressures. The deflator and some storm deflators as well. They all just used to kick around in the door pocket and get knocked about, but uh, yeah, they're safe in a canvas stuff cell. So that's going to go back to the front and live in the door pouch, but in a more organized manner. So there you go, grab yourself a set of the Red Roads canvas stuff cells and you can get some drawer organization going on. So that's it from us tonight. We've got our stuff all organized, packed away nice and neatly. Um, stick around after this video for a couple of seconds and Alex has a nice competition for you guys. I do indeed. I'll see you in a moment. All right, before I finish this video off, massive thanks to Red Roads for supplying everything in these drawers for demonstration and for sponsoring this episode. I've made sure you guys haven't got left out either. And I've teamed up with Red Roads to do a giveaway. So here's what we've got to give away. The small padded cell. This is the one Taylor used to put his nightcaps in, in the hip flasks. Got the large padded cell. That's the one I used for all my tire deflation gear and tire gauges. And here's one that you didn't get to see. That's the canvas tool roll. I didn't want to open it up and dirty up your prize. So uh, if you're the winner of this, you're going to have to make sure you tag Intense Off-Road and Red Roads on Instagram so we can see what you've uh, done with your tool roll. So, to be in it to win it, all you've got to do is reside in Australia, follow the link up in the top here or down in the description. That's going to take you to the competition page, enter your email address, you'll be subscribed to the Red Roads newsletter, and you're automatically in it. If you want more chances to win, go over to their Facebook page, give Red Roads a like over there, go over to Instagram, follow them on Instagram, that's an extra two entries, and you could be the winner of this $125 prize pack. Again, thanks for watching, and if you've really enjoyed this episode, and you want to see more of us teamed up with Red Roads for more of their interesting products in the future, hell, if you enjoy anything about Intense Off-Road, make sure you give us the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You pack of legends, I'll see you in the next video.